They'll be showing us uh, how to uh, use advanced select uh, to find the parts that are interior to a component, so parts that cannot be seen from outside, and then how to grab those all in one motion and hide or suppress them at your choice. This is something that everybody could find useful. Um, you know, we're always trying to make our models easier to use and uh, leave them in a state that's easier to open. Uh, so this kind of helps with both of those things. So uh, today we're going to be going ahead and doing an advanced select. So I'll right click here and uh, we'll grab this drop down arrow next to the uh, mouse pointer. And here's advanced select on at the bottom. And in this dialog box here, we'll just choose the drop down and say is part interior detail. And then here we'll say uh, is yes. So is yes means inside and is no means it's inside. Uh, so pretty simple. And we're going to say apply. And now we can go ahead and uh, if we come down here and we look down our tree, we see the parts are already selected for us. So, you know, at this point we can choose to uh, come up in here and we can, um, we can do a lot of operations, but we can come into view and we can say we want to hide show components. We can suppress these components so we can do all kinds of things uh, literally in just, uh, you know, the click of a button. So it's, it's a real easy way to, to, suppri to uh, suppress or hide uh, any components that you, that you would like to do. So if we come up here and we look at the Evaluate tab and we come to a Performance Evaluation, um, and we'll go ahead and expand this for everybody. Uh, when we come down here, we can see a suppressed components is 120 components. So to find 120 components inside of this, uh, and I'm, I'm gonna, just a little click that I did and suppress them one click, you know, that would probably take, I'm gonna guess at least 10 to 15 minutes to go through each folder, select, find the parts. So yeah, a lot of time saved. And to reverse that is just the opposite click.